Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the adventures of Cool Cat. Oh, hail Antler. So yes, I have been gone for some time. Bit of a hiatus, but uh, enough about that. Let's go on with this little adventure of ours. So, when we last left off, uh, we had murdered someone we were rather fond of, and now we need to talk to Mr. Bright. So, uh, let's go do that. Yeah, I kind of... I looked it up. Harlan doesn't really do much. Even if you do rescue him, so I haven't like missed out on any major quests in the future or anything like that. And I actually have very little idea about where I'm going here. Uh, yes, a little bit lost, uh, which is slightly embarrassing. I probably should have made sure I knew what the hell I was doing. But what's new? So, yeah. Oh, there's someone in here. I kind of hope you don't want to murder me. So, this is why I always hate the like the basement areas of Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. Because they're, they're just mazes. They make no logical sense whatsoever. Even less sense than these games usually make when you have bizarre random maze-like areas for no apparent reason. Also, I have no sense of direction. If someone takes away my compass and map, I am useless. Anyway. Uh, nice bit loading. Hopefully this won't be a staple of this episode. As I mentioned the last episode, I have had problems with loading before. Um, I've tried to clean up aerial running processes, but um, well, we'll see. Ugh. Yeah. There we go. Let's get worried for a second there. Oh. Oh. Uh. Blank screen. Oh, no, here we go. <sighs> Don't do this to me, computer. I need you. Anyway, where the hell are we going? Uh, right, so we need to go back up these sta yes, back up these stairs, talk to Mr. Bright. Am I still wearing the party cap? No, I'm not still wearing party hat. I'm going to wear the party hat because uh, I've just beaten a guy through diplomacy, no less. And all I needed was the death of one of your followers. I call that a win. Don't know about you, call it a win. There we go. Cook cat is ready to party. Oh yeah. So I'm likely to kind of rush through this bit. Um, I probably shouldn't say that, but this mission after this is it's kind of interesting, but it is a bit fetch questy. Um, we'll see how it goes. Fetch questy. That's in the dictionary, by the way. Look up. It's right there. See a picture of uh, <laughs> picture of RPGs, I guess. Ah. Yeah, no, I've got no patience for fresh quests, to be honest. Um, if you're going to have a quest, make it interesting. Don't just make it a go here, grab that. That's just padding. If you have to go there and grab that, we should at least have some challenge in grabbing that, you know? Turn into a good stealth mission. These, these drawn out black screens are uh, a little bit worrying, uh, a little bit concerning. We'll see how it pans out. There we go. <laughs> They're just long enough to worry me. That's that's what's getting me. They're just that long. Any shorter, I'd be okay. Any longer, I probably would have just quit. But no. Just the right length. Anyway, Bright, where are you? Sup, guys? Anyone see Harlan? No? I wonder why. Uh, ooh. <coughs> c -c computer Hey. Man, my setup's pro. <laughs> hey. Nope, he's not in here, which I assume means upstairs. Sup, Chris? Chris Haverham. Probably one of the one. Yeah. He's a character. Oh, 
can we use this? No, we cannot. You can use some of the chemistry kits to, um... Hang on, I'm going to look at the damn map. Buildings in general in Fallout 3 make no sense and are deeply annoying. Let's see. So, yeah, he's just down the stairs around the corner. I hope. Hey, 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 hey Bright! Why do you not stay still? I'll glow your ass over here. Is the way clear? Yes. The demons are gone, ha <laughs> ha! And bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. There is, and funnily enough, much of it by me. So, uh, yeah. Doop, doop, doop. I'm just gonna follow you guys, because I, as previously mentioned, no sense direction. So there's a few ways this, the few ways this can go. Uh, I believe a lot of it depends on your various skills. So I might not actually be decent enough level to do a lot of the things. So we'll see how that pans out as well. Um, I have no idea what how, how close I am to leveling. I really hope I level soon because. Uh, my lack of lock picking is really starting to get on my nerves. Uh, wow, I have not done much but complain this entire episode. Yeah, oh hey. My, God, my complaints are valid, damn it. So valid. Uh, yeah. Is it this way? No, it's this way. No, 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 it's this way. Yes, yeah, this way. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. I have this feeling I was going to be saying more about Harlan. There was some factoid I had about him, but I cannot remember for life of me what it was. Um, yeah, well, whatever. Doop doop do, random sewer. I mean, really, this this would have been like a uh, where they took all the tech and the bits, because it just kind of leads on to the control room. So, why 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 is it so? Suri. I don't know. Ooh, hello. Do you have shinies for me, Food Locker? You do have shinies. Not many shinies, but uh, I won't judge you for it. Loading bench. Oh, this room was a bit of a waste of time. This room. Ooh. Okay. Sweet. You cannot have too much magnum rounds, in my opinion. Unless, you know, you do indeed have too many rounds and you're playing on hardcore mode and you can't move. But, um... I look you're not there. So, uh, we're not gonna talk to Jason Bright. We're gonna go this way. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, do you see it? Do you see it? Those of you who know this game know what I'm going for. Space suit. Yes. Oh man, let's get some light on going in here. The epitome of cool. Oh, hang on. There we go. Cool cat, spaceman. And he seems to have removed his snazzy hair. <laughs> I tried turning off the light there so we could see his face a bit clearer, but uh, nope. Can't see it at all. So yeah, space suit. Apparently this the spacesuit has the best uh, armor value to weight ratio of all the light armors, I believe. I haven't. Yes, I seem to remember that, that that's the way that factoid goes. Anyway, enough of me waffling. Let's talk to Bright. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Remembrance in a 50p can get me a cup of coffee. Are nearly complete, <laughs> but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Funny if that. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. 
He can tell you what is missing. <laughs> there is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Thank you, Caps. Who can we just catch you always? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the, those rockets. Uh, I'll give you a better look at them in a sec. Yes. <laughs> they're the rockets they're cool. They're kind of shoddy. Vision upon vision has confirmed. Oh man, visions. We cannot question visions. <laughs> yes. I understand your concerns, <laughs> and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. You know Cool Cat sees in his dreams? Who's he gonna tell you? It's and not PG, but uh, let's just say that's also miraculous. Uh, yeah, let's talk about Chris. What is the deal when with the human? Us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days. So basically you exploited him. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I'm kind of over it everything you have to say. Sent you and but I'm doing an LP and I'll walk through. I should sit and li mine. listen to everything he has to you say. I talk over him, which is probably a much more amusing way of dealing with it. Yeah, I'm so calling you out. Will. I'm dragging Is this conversation right you? out. Were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. Or the become a ghoul. This is an option. <laughs> it has been covered many times before. Becoming a ghoul is an option when you have horrific events of radiation. Yep. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris, but it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Yeah, blah blah blah. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. And I won't think of you ever again as soon as you leave. So yeah, there's the rocket. Pretty awesome. I, I quite, uh, as I mentioned before, I really enjoy the design of these rockets. Um, and indeed the spacesuits. Wow, Jason got down there quick. Look, he's right there. Boy, he can move. Uh, anyway, let's have a chat with Chris over here. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Oops, sorry about that. That probably wasn't a very enjoyable sound for you. I just smacked my microphone. Uh, yeah, well, this, this gets straight to the point. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent the igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. I'm not sure if it's leaking no drums causes radioactive elements to, to decay intact, quicker, but there's enough the holes agent. in the science the of fallout for me modules. not to poke they more of them. Built for these <laughs> At least, not they to nitpick. This is always a thing with me. You, you, you keep people... I'm sure Yammer on this about this later. For now, let's talk about the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. How about this thing I just happened to have picked up earlier? Yes, that's the igniting agent. But we'll need more of these souvenirs. <laughs> a total of five should do it. God damn it! Oh, there was me being all clever and smug. Oh, yes, I'm cutting this fetch quest short. Thank you very much. It's like, no, no, need more. Go back. Uh, at least they don't have to buy them one at a time. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yep. Thrust control models. All right. Oh. Okay. Uh. D never mind then. I guess. I don't really know what the point of that is. Oh, let me have another look at that. Ah. Might know something else. Yeah. Hurry back. Weird. I, I don't really know what that option's there. Maybe there was more to this quest. There was very much... There was a lot cut out of New Vegas. Maybe that was one of the things they cut out was an option for that quest to be bigger and do other things. I do get the feeling it's... Well, I say I get the feeling. I suspect a little bit that it's a little less than it might have been if they had more time to work on it. 
Factoids. I tell you, it wasn't a factoid. I have no idea why I said that. So loading screen. These are snazzy. Um, give you advice. Bardley. E. Right. So without further ado, let's bring up the map and go to Gibson Scrapyard. Because she's got the bits. I'll just say that right now, and that was not in Yondo. Um, she's got the components we need, so let's just buy them. Because uh, I don't know if she mentioned, but she did a bit, bit of scrapping from the Repcon facility. So it's a good place to start. And once we've got that, I may end the episode. Which has been uh, 15 thrilling minutes of me waffling at you over the mic. I'm sure you missed this so much. Duckies! Oh, I got Ducky Daddy. I think she's inside, so let's just wander unannounced into her home while she's sleeping. I mean, this is only the apocalypse after all. I'm sure there's no one who has a little bit of an itchy trigger finger on their laser cannons and will vaporize me the second I walk in. Because that never happens in real life in what is our safe society. I'd better not, the dogs might attack me. You have crazy eyes, you don't have crazy eyes. Gibson! Hello, Hello young so lady Gibson. <laughs> now, where did we leave off? Hmm. As it so happened, Eh. Ooh, I have enough barter! Sweet! Huh. I didn't expect this to happen. Let's go for it. I know I'm not young and pretty anymore, but... Yes! <laughs> and once again, yeah. flaunting Take saves the, the day. Oh yeah. So cool. <laughs> You know, I've never actually taken either of those perks, the Lady Killer or Confirmed Bachelor, um, and any of their current incarnations. Um, you know, maybe if you know. I'm gonna start waffling now. So, seeing these options, every time it happens, it's a surprise to me. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering why I giggle every time it comes up. You know what, I might as well buy the rest of those. I'll make this a long episode. I'll buy the rest of those radioactive whatnots and head back to the facility and that'll be the episode there. Might as well get that over with. Ugh. Where are you when I need you? So while they're away, let's have a look in here. Remember, remember how you mentioned they only had a few left? Take all the souvenirs! Yes! All of them! I'll drink them. So you could call it, right? Yes, I am taking them all. What of it? Rockets, 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 rockets. Oh man. If only the, um. Fallout 3 had a weapon called the Rocket Launcher. Um. Which just chucked random things. If only. <laughs> they were, uh. Th that, w that was in this game, because fi firing the rockets from that thing would have been awesome. That's quite enough of that. So yeah, as I say, uh, he claimed he was nearly out of the <laughs> T-Rexes, even though he still had several hundred in this room. Thanks, Chief. Much appreciated. While I'm here... Steal all of the ammo, all of the ammo. 
Might as well take that as well. <coughs> cool. This is flea boon. Right. Is there no? So I have to go there. Yeah, I was just seeing if there was a quick travel bit for the um the side entrance. I'm good with words. Doop, doop, doop. It's up here somewhere. I think I actually should jump down here and land on top of it. Yeah, sweet. Hop. Straight into the hole. That's how I imagine that happening. Like, you landed on the mine. The, the, the mine. The man, man cover. Manhole cover. And it just span around like it does in cartoons. Yeah, that's what happened. That's precisely what happened. Probably should make funny noises over the mic. I'm sure you don't appreciate that. Anyway, <coughs> so this has been the awesome, cool adventures of Cool Cat. Uh, I'm back, hopefully for a while, and we can get this LP happening again. Catch you later, guys. See ya.